Hey everybody, Ann here, and today, well, at least this morning, I'm going to get my coffee and take a nice little stroll with the girl and just see what I can find. Ah, poor guy. Aww, I would have rescued you. Check this out. I just found this little, no Betty, no Betty. This little pool right here and a bunch of frogs were jumping in it. And then I just kind of looked up and I thought, oh my God, look at that trail. I have got to, got to hike it. Right now I've just got my little flip floppy shoes on. So um, I'm definitely gonna check this out. Look at how cool it looks. I wonder where it goes. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like that just formed maybe naturally when it rains. All of the water just sent the rock down here until it finally falls into this pool, I guess. And there's like a little step. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Right there, there's a little step. So I don't know if there's like a hole in it and it drains to the lake, but I have definitely got to get my boots on and see if I can make it all the way up there. Look at this. The forest just goes on and on and on forever. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is just so beautiful out here. Y'all jealous? <laughs> oh man, look at this. A fallen tree with a bunch of pine cones on it. I think I know what I'm going to do for my little craft. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I got enough pine cones. I did collect this feather, I don't know why. And I collected some acorns. Um, I really wish I had got more of them though. I don't know why I got them. It's just been so long since I've seen an acorn. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make a wreath or something out of it. I'm going to use this twine. I was going to use some wire, but um, that's not exactly biodegradable. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that other thing that I found was, was really pretty. Whoops, it's out of focus. And it had wire in it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this twine since I've got it already. Alrighty, so let's see what I can come up with. I was having a lot of trouble attaching them. I first tried tying knots around the stems and then some of the stems weren't long enough or my knots weren't tight enough and so then I tried to wrap the string around the pine cones but inevitably one of them would just end up falling off kind of like that so it kind of I don't know made me crazy so what I ended up doing is just tying them really tightly together in groups of threes and I figure there's got to be a way that I can attach them to something else so that I can make a wreath. While I was brainstorming, I decided to make some lunch for Betty and I. I made some chili cheese fries and some chicken breasts. And of course, I'm going to sprinkle cheese on the fries in a little bit here, but this is looking absolutely delicious. Here it is plated up. I've got my cheese, shredded cheese on it, and they turned out really tender and delicious. And of course, Betty, as always, gets her half. She just really loves everything I cook. Okay, <laughs> not that pretty yet, but um, what I did is I just got three green st sticks, basically, that had already fallen, that were about the same size, and I just put, like I alternated, um, like there's one thick side, a thin one, a thin one, so that it wouldn't all be thick up here and thin over there. Anyhow, so I just went ahead and braided them. Um, well, first what I did is I tied them at each end, well, at the top, and then I braided it, and then I, well, I just made a circle and tied it all together. <laughs> and there was one little area where one of the twigs snapped, so I went ahead and reinforced that. It doesn't look like much now, but it's the first time I've ever made a wreath out of wood, so I don't know. I'm kind of proud of it. All right, let's see if I can get the, the pine cones attached to it. I got one cluster on. That doesn't look too bad. All right, let's do the rest. It's done. <laughs> I went through trials and tribulations, but now I just need to find a place to hang it up. I decided on this tree. It is right close to the lake. If you enter and maybe go fishing, put your rod in over here. 
Hopefully your eyes will be drawn to my beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> I'm not crafty, but you know what? I'm pretty impressed. That's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.